Let us solve another question that was asked in net economics paper of 2022. The question is like this. Given the demand function is P is equal to 35 minus 2x minus x square. X denotes the quantity demanded. P is the price. Find consumer surplus at quantity is equal to 3. Okay. So we need to calculate the consumer surplus. Now if we draw the graph of this demand curve. Let us say we have quantity on the horizontal axis and price on the vertical axis we have a non-linear demand function so it just graph will be you know a curve that is it will be upward convex so since the coefficient of x square is negative so it is graph will uh, look like this so we have this kind of demand curve okay this is our demand curve we need to find out the consumer surplus at x is equal to 3 let us say this is 3 corresponding to this we need to find out the consumer surplus okay so since price you know quantity is being given first we need to find out the price okay so since our p is equal to 35 minus 2x minus x square and x is equal to 3 then our price will be equal to 35 minus 2 in place of x we have 3 minus 3 square which gives us 35 minus 6 minus 9 which comes out to be 35 minus now shagat panda which comes out to be 20 so corresponding to um, the quantity of 3 we have a price of 15 okay now what is the consumer surplus it is simply the difference between the price that a consumer is willing to pay and the actual price he pays okay so here the intercept of this is 35 let me write it here okay that means the consumer surplus uh, will be a region which is the which is above the you know equilibrium price in this case and below the quantity sorry below this demand curve so this area will be our consumer surplus we need to calculate this very area okay so how do we calculate the consumer surplus when we have a non-linear graph we use the you know definite integral that means our consumer surplus will be equal to first we need to calculate the area of this whole region to this we subtract this white rectangular region and we will get the upward region okay so consumer surplus will be then the definite integral from zero to equilibrium uh, you know equilibrium quantity that is here uh, you know three okay and we take the integral of demand function that is 35 minus 2x minus x square okay dx to this we will subtract the total expenditure and total expenditure is simply price uh, into quantity so price into quantity will give us the total expenditure okay this definite integral is actually and if i can show it here this denotes the whole region okay so let us be very specific here uh, this is the whole region okay so we have from 0 to 3 so first we calculate the area of this whole region that means the definite integral from 0 to equilibrium quantity and integrating this demand function to this we subtract this lower rectangle rectangular region that is and let me let me be very specific with the colors here so we have this thing here okay so i'm just trying to give you an idea graphically what exactly is the consumer surplus when we subtract and let us write it here so when we subtract this rectangle from this uh, this rectangle from this whole region we will get the answer is the upper region which is which is this region okay and which is our consumer surplus taking the integral here so 
evaluating so the integral of 35 will be 35x minus 2 integral of x will be x square upon 2 minus integral of x square will be x cube upon 3 and we evaluate it from 0 to uh, 3 to this we subtract the total expenditure that is price is being we what we calculate that is 20 to this we multiply the quantity solving this so we evaluate this demand or rather this expression for state uh, the upper limit 3 and then subtract and evaluate it the lower limit 0 which gives us so first evaluated at upper limit we have 35 in place of x we will have 3 uh, minus 2 so this gets cancelled and let's not write it here so we have then 3 square minus x cube minus 3 cube which is 27 upon 3 minus this 20 into 3 comes out to be Uh, this is 60 actually 20 into 3 is obviously 60 and if we want to evaluate this at lower limit so it will become 0 because we have all the all the terms with x so all the terms will become 0 we will not write it here so 3 5s are 15 3 3s are 9 the again 10 this is 9 this is again 9 minus 60 so we have now to now get arda shared arda guys so we have 60 and 8 78 so 105 minus 78 gives us i guess it will give us the 27 is the result okay so the consumer surplus will be the area of this region will be 27 okay so this is how do we take the use of definite integral in getting the consumer surplus of a non-linear demand function. I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you.